When it comes to software testing, the terms test plan and test strategy often get mixed up. This confusion is understandable, considering how intertwined these concepts can be. However, it's crucial to understand that while they are related, they are not identical twins in the software testing universe. A test plan is a detailed blueprint outlining the who, what, when, and how of testing a particular software. On the other hand, a test strategy is a higher level document defining the approach that will be taken to test a software. It's a roadmap steering the overall testing activities. Many perceive these two as the same, but their differences are significant. They serve unique roles in the intricate process of software testing, each contributing to the success of the project in its own way. Our objective today is to clear this confusion, to distinguish between these two, and to understand their unique roles. It's time to demystify these two crucial components of software testing. First, let's dive into the software test plan. Just as an builder needs a plan to construct a building, a project team requires a test plan to guide their testing activities. The test plan is a detailed document that outlines the objectives for testing. It's created early in the project timeline, often during the planning or design phase. The test plan includes relevant information like test scope, test items, features to be tested, testing tasks, and who will do each task. It also identifies the necessary resources and outlines the schedule of testing activities. In essence, a test plan is like a guide for all testing activities. Moving on, let's unravel the software test strategy. A software test strategy is a high-level document that sets the standards for testing processes. It's similar to a map, offering an overview of the testing approach for the project. Its purpose is to inform stakeholders about the key aspects of testing, such as the objectives, methods, and the scope of testing activities. The test strategy is typically created early in the project timeline, during the planning phase. It's a broad document focusing more on the why and what of testing, rather than the how. It gives a bird's eye view of the project's testing approach, as opposed to the test plan's detailed roadmap. Unlike the test plan, the test strategy doesn't delve into specifics like test cases. However, it does set the stage for these details to be fleshed out in the test plan. Think of a test strategy as the master plan that guides all testing efforts. Now that we've individually explored both, let's compare and contrast the test plan and test strategy. To start, let's conceptualize our understanding. Just like a solid foundation is crucial for a house, a test strategy lays the groundwork for all testing activities. Now imagine the test plan as the detailed construction plan, outlining the specific tasks, resources, and timelines. In terms of content, the test strategy is more high level, focusing on the overall testing approach, the testing objectives, and the risk assessment. For instance, it might decide to use a risk-based testing approach due to the critical nature of the project. Conversely, the test plan is more detailed, dealing with specific test cases, resources, and schedules. For example, it could specify that the payment module will be tested first, using a certain set of test cases, by John, starting next Monday. The test strategy is usually more static and changes less frequently, as it is defined at the start of the project and provides the broad testing direction. The test plan, however, is more dynamic and can change frequently to adapt to the project's evolving needs. The test strategy applies to the entire project and serves as a guiding document for all test plans. On the other hand, there might be multiple test plans within a single project, each tailored to a specific testing phase or module. Now let's talk about testing tools. In our test strategy, we might mention that we'll be using JIRA for issue tracking and VANSA test management for test case management. The test plan, on the other hand, would detail how these tools will be used. For instance, it might specify that testers should log defects in JIRA using a particular format, or that test cases should be managed in a certain way. In essence, the test strategy provides the why and what of testing, while the test plan provides the who, what, where, and when. So while both are essential to a project, they serve distinct purposes. The test strategy sets the direction, while the test plan navigates the journey, ensuring that we reach our destination of a quality product. To wrap up, let's revisit the key points we've covered today. A software test plan serves as a roadmap for the testing process. It's a tactical document that explains what needs to be tested, by whom, and how. On the other hand, a software test strategy is a high-level document that defines the testing approach for the entire organization. It's more about the why and the what of testing. In a project context, both play crucial roles. The test plan ensures the project's testing processes are in line with its requirements, while the test strategy aligns the testing with business objectives. These two may seem similar, 
but their differences are fundamental. While the test plan is project specific, the test strategy is organization wide. Remember, tools like Vansa Test Management for Jira can support both the plan and the strategy, ensuring seamless execution. Understanding the difference between a test plan and test strategy can be the key to effective and efficient software testing.